Hi guys, it's Anelius and welcome back to Hearts of Iron number 4. Let's load the end of the last saved game, which we're playing here, as you can see, as in the Netherlands, or rather the Netherlands... Right, the recording often gets slightly interrupted during the actual loading process, but uh, let's see where we stand today. I don't want to do that. As you can see, we're basically still fighting on this uh, eastern front here. Uh, yeah, it's getting to be quite intense at the moment, but uh, yeah, my, my aim here had been to basically uh, try to basically create a bit of a cor corridor there, as you can see. I think I've actually been doing that, so that, that should be good. These guys here have to be on the defensive, which is great, fine, perfectly problem with that. Right, how are we doing here? We seem to be pushing through. Now, if I can encircle that lot there, that'd be great. Hopefully they don't get any reinforcements in, because yeah, that would basically make this slightly more difficult. But then again, that, that happens. Scheduled, it looks like. Ninety percent there. We're going, going quite nicely. Ninety-two. Ninety-five. Ninety-six. Come on. <coughs> Sweet. As you can see, we've been able to push this through quite nicely. question then is which province do I push into? Is it that one there? That might be a good idea. Yeah, morale is, is in need of basically, or at least organizations in need of recovery. Pretty sure we'll survive this because if you look at their morale it, it's absolute shambles as well. One of the main things though here is if, if I basically am able to push them uh, out of these provinces here, what is that? Is that a port or is it a dockyard? That, uh, that's the port, the naval port. So I'd like to be able to push them out of there. Not sure that's going to happen though. But, uh, I can but try, I can but try. 40%, okay. Well, let's push into there. All right, these guys are defending, that one's defending, that's fine. That's fine as well, let's send them straight into the front line there straight into. But let's keep him at least there. Uh, give him a moment's respite. I need to be able to recover a little bit at least. Where are we in terms of all of this? So construction repairs are ongoing, which is great. As you can see, I do have a, an X number of factories that basically needs to be restored. Um, just push those to the top here and then basically let's make sure the ones that were close to finishing are really going to be able to finish as well. From trade I'm getting some benefits. Unfortunately there is a bit of an issue here. But of course well, we're not really at the top of the line with everything. I was also dealing here with of course part of this front line here. Well front line. This line here I should maybe say. So in terms of defenses, we're doing pretty okay here. In terms of defenses, we're doing pretty okay here as well. Except for morale is... yeah. 
Okay, it's not the greatest, but okay. We'll manage, we will manage. Alright, let's make sure again that we can actually get through here. Yeah, we're, we're probably going to be pushed back from that one. Stop that one. Right, we will just make sure that this goes through. Okay, we're defending that particular province for the moment. And of course, we'll be uh, reinforcing that. Right, defensively, we're doing pretty okay here. I'm still working on that, uh, that goal of basically trying to push back these guys sufficiently to get to create a little bit of a pocket there where I can capture these guys in the pocket. That's uh, the Russians under Andrei Zvlazov. Okay. Andrei Vlasov. These dockyards, that's fine. Cool. And these are proper German troops. That I don't have control over them. But there are some other German troops here that I do have control over. for just a second. Now, what have I got here? These guys can of course go to the front. These guys here will be able to support various different bits. And this one gonna go there as well. And these Germans here will be able to support that attack there as well. Looks like I got some new troops other signed that just came in. That is my marine, so I'm going to set these, all of these really, to be part of the marines. And I'm basically going to send these straight to the front line to help in the defense of this particular province here. So I did say I'm going to basically move them. Cool. They're on the move. How's our navy doing? We haven't actually looked at our navy for a little bit. Southern France, that's good. We're doing okay there. Construction, we are doing yeah, okay-ish, I would say. As you can see, that number is, is steadily on the up, which is good. I can actually pick them up and just drag them to a new position, which is good as well. These repairs, of course, should get priority over new construction. Yeah, if I am doing actual proper repairs, I need to, of course, make sure I can actually do so. I've got space for it and so forth. So let's push these to the top briefly. I'll move them down again in a second. Because, of course, yeah, I really want to basically prioritize first some of the other stuff. Right, Friesland, etc., etc. Extra factories. Limoges, Switzerland. How's our recruitment coming in terms of the actual the, the occupational forces? Can I deploy that all in bulk? There we go. Yeah, that seems to work. All right, these guys here. I want to basically put them under a brand new general. Army 1, Army 2, etc, etc. So these guys here, if 
Well, look at the actual resistance map here. These guys here, of course, should fall ultimately underneath there, but they need our own in general as well. Uh, let's put that gentleman in charge. Now, this batch here... It's going to do garrison duty. Sorry, garrison duty, I was going to say. Resistance is high there. Offensive, defensive, blah, 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 blah. Ah, that makes sense, doesn't it? Anything else? I think that's pretty much it. So that should hopefully be uh, at least a good start. Uh, this is occupational armies. Some of these provinces don't have any issue in terms of resistances whatsoever. Um, look at that though. That is continuously getting a plus 3%. Resistance strength is at a maximum really. Capped at 100% from suppression. Now Paris gets a bonus there. Resistance in neighboring state that gives a bonus as well. Occupation policy multiplier. Okay, minus 60%. It's now minus 5 for D, so that's good. So some of these seem to basically have those numbers dropping now, which actually should help us quite nicely. Should most definitely help us quite nicely. Kind of lost track of time a little bit, so let's make sure I basically keep track of time as well. Because, yeah, you don't want to basically have an episode that's too lengthy. Now, probably yesterday's episode for uh, Skyrim was a bit lengthy. About 50 minutes. And that is a bit overboard, I think. Hungary proclaims Greater Hungary. They're a bit full of themselves, having regained the lands that were taken from them in the Treaty of Trina. Blah, 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 blah. It's hoped that this will serve to increase... Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> Okay, let's see what we're doing here on the front. Ooh, we've actually had luck in that breakthrough there. A little defense there, it looks like. We were able to take this batch here, which is even better. These guys here do need to basically start capturing that province there but uh, yeah as you can see we're basically currently defending territory here luckily uh, Albert Kessler is helping us out here same over here he seems to be uh, taking charge of some of these occupational location or occupied locations maybe I should say all right that seems to be going for the worse but kind of my hope here is to be able to encircle sufficient enemy troops to be able to say yes or Feeding them. Because once I've encircled them, I can actually start destroying Russian troops. Because at the moment I'm basically, yeah, I'm. What? Greater Hungary is justifying against us? Why would they do that? Hold on. Greater Hungary, we are in the same faction, aren't we? Hold on, hold on, hold on. These guys here, what the heck are they doing? They are... There's volunteers, blah, 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 blah. He's fighting a defensive war, he's fighting an offensive war. Claim 
overlordship of Slovakia. Ah. What are we doing in Slovakia? Okay, Slovakia there. Oh, yeah, okay, well, yeah, I guess that will work. Uh, let's keep these bits occupied here. There as well if I can. Again, if I basically cut them off here, that would be a tremendous. That would really make my day. Because yeah, destruction of armies is better than just yeah, pushing them back. Far, far better. Let's look at what we can do with our marines. Still got that foothold there in that location. Looks like these marines have been pushed back. Um, these guys here, okay, they're not really doing too well. I we need to send them some reinforcements, which I can do. All 11 though? Do I need to basically send all 11? Maybe not. Send these guys there first. Again, one of our troops is helping out here, which of course uh, makes that a little bit easier for everybody. Manpower is dropping quickly, isn't it? Golly. Is that because of our recruitment or is it something else? Let's have a quick look there. have a look at the losses here so it's, it's it doesn't seem to be due to losses because in terms of losses we're, we're doing okay so look at the po uh, occupied territories occupied territories well, i'm not going to release those guys but basically this here gentlest Due to losses, it's, it's just due to the amount of manpower we got in the field, which is fine. Not a big problem there. <coughs> Any extra troops I can push in, of course, would be more than welcome. More than welcome. fighting going on everywhere which is yeah of course makes absolute sense here we're trying to make a, at least a, a yeah, valued contribution here to the overall war effort we need more oil can I get some more oil from these guys maybe yep there we go research is progressing nicely Repairs of factories is progressing nicely. Have we got more factories to repair in the meantime? Yes. As usual. Alright, let's put the ones that are closer to completion back at the top again. Instead of basically that province there, we just got eight of them now. 
See if you can maybe take the neighboring province there. Still, would basically uh, yeah, encircle all of those troops there. But the, the number of troops has kind of reduced a little bit over time. So the overall actual impact will be less. A little bit of a pity, but uh, yeah, nothing to be done about that. Looks like they're actually using mechanized uh, armies here, which is good. Have I researched that already? Yes, actually we're, we're researching it as we speak. Which should be, of course, a, a nice bit of gear to develop. And what are we doing in terms of production? We've basically got 10 factories dedicated towards fighter production. And we do have a substantial, yeah, a substantial one in terms of uh, capacity, it looks like. Let's reduce that slightly. Okay. Equipment here is do perfectly fine. Uh, yes, this one probably I want to basically prioritize a bit more. I do need a significant number there in terms of uh, reinforcements. That's what it looks like. Just those three for the moment being. Did I tell him to attack there? No, I did not. So let's for the moment just keep on pushing him back. I've already taken yeah, one of the their egress points. Oh, well, that's interesting. Didn't expect that to happen, really. If I'm able to basically push him back out of there entirely, that'd be great. Look at that, they are actually pulling back somewhat. At least that's what it looks like. Right, are we going to be able to maintain that? I'm not sure, we'll see. look like overall they are pulling back they are suffering s tremendously in terms of uh, morale which uh, yeah okay serves them right Riga Riga is the next city along here I did I'd like to be able to take the entire peninsula there So if we can somehow create a bit of a border towards there, that'd be great. We are getting some reinforcements here. Now, their morale is still higher than ours, which is understandable. But that's all German territory, I would say. We are suffering losses here. Yeah, now, the biggest party who's actually made us lose units seems to, at this point, be yeah, the Soviet Union. What's the situation like here in Africa? In absolute Africa, it is absolute box. Put it lightly. Any more ships that we built? No. 
what's happening in terms of production here. Hmm. Not much it would seem. How's resistance shaping up here? It looks like resistance is steadily dropping. I guess as resistance drops overall, that will basically have a more a more positive impact on things where it stands, which of course would be great to see that improving. Anything we need to do, anything we can do, maybe I should say, here to help out. I don't really think so. As you can see, we got lots of troops here. Both our own. Alright, can I look at this general here? Let's actually have a look at dealing with this here. So let's create a bit of a front line. So I'm able to help out with protecting that. that. I guess that that's the main thing I need to do here. This general. Make sure I uh, help out where possible. Hope this won't take too long. escape but uh, it might come to that point anyways where they will escape no matter what actually let's go and actually attack them here we should push them back far enough There, I like to basically use to push into that province there as well. Hmm. Total attrition stands at over two percent. Not good, but uh, yeah, it's not the worst either. We've had had worse. See, they're strengthening their position there because my troops are not able to push them far enough back. <sighs> okay. Well, so be it. They are trying to push us out of here as well now. So whatever gains we've made are slowly being eroded, it looks like. Morale's absolute yeah, in the gutter at the moment, it looks like. But let's attack that province there with even more manpower. We're holding out the good well over here. They, they will not be pushing us back, to put it yeah, in easy terms. At least that's my hope overall. What happened here? Now we lost our submarine, which is marvelous. Because I don't have any replacement submarines as of yet. Oh well. Do I need to have that? section in there. 
Well, I kind of do, don't I? Oh, well. Oh, well. Okay. So let's go back to the front line here. Let's see what it is we could potentially do to help out. They were trying to attack us. Which again is not necessarily a bad thing, but uh, yeah. The more we can push them back, the better. It looks like they're escaping! We're not fast enough. Okay. There's nothing I can do about that. Let's have a look at our generals. Ooh, this general here could get a promotion. Infantry division attack, maximum entrenchment, recon bonus when entren uh, entrenched. Ooh, which one do I want to go for? They are mutually exclusive. I think I want to go for the attack option there. Alright, let's see here. Let's go for the uh, attack as well. This general hasn't earned anything yet, but yeah, he's going towards uh, the organizational route here as well, the top one here. Planning speed is increased. I'm not sure I need to be. But infantry leader is it would be a very, very nice one. And we're steadily building up towards that anyway, so that's good. Alright, what are we gonna do with these troops down here? We're going to attack in a eastward direction or a southward direction. Any of which could be done potentially. Or I can actually attack this way. These are all German troops it looks like. So the ship in theory of course be reinforced from Germany. Dedicate these troops, of course, not only to the offense. Gosh. Oops. A number of those troops just need to be uh, sent back for uh, replenishment and re yeah. Bit of a downtime, really. It's kind of what we're seeing here at the moment. It doesn't always work. Basically taking ownership of this section here, anyways. But the, yeah, the Germans should be able to uh, recover that. All 
right, as you can see, um, Henry Machel, Michel, Michel Brink. He's doing okay with his troops here, I would say. They keep on trying to push us here, but uh, don't seem to have much luck there. really move into there to help reinforce that particular province. Ah, oh, golly. see wind this here I need to then quickly pause it because we need to start issuing some orders just got a second wind involved as well which is yeah okay I can live with that but uh, it's not quite what we'd hoped for really they are relatively similar in level Decryption advantage, which of course always serves us nicely. Right, we'll pause here for just a second. This one will help in the attack. These guys here will help in the attack. Uh, these guys here, though, we're going to move down there. These guys here to basically reinforce that attack even further. Same goes for these troops here. in terms of orders giving it for the moment then again looking at the clock i think it's about time for us to basically uh, call it a day isn't it so what's happening to our troops here now i've given them orders at the moment as you can see and these orders really consist of uh, yeah, making sure that we have got the right troops here in play let me just edit that border slightly I think that will do for the moment. Um, anyways, guys, like I was saying, uh, it's about 10 dollars a day. Um, there hasn't really been that much movement, except, of course, for that little corridor that we basically opened up here. A corridor, or at least this, this section here. Is, is that Prussia? No, that's actually Latvia. We basically yeah, conquered Latvia together with the, uh, the Germans, of course, here. And we're, we're basically trying to basically push the Russians out even further. Try to move into... Uh, I thought that was called Riga. Yeah, it's Riga. And, uh, I think that's not fully Latvia, because this is, of course, uh, uh, what's it called? Lithuania. And then just above there, we got then uh, Latvia. And then here, or sorry, then this here is Estonia. So, guys, yeah, I'll hope to see you in the next episode. But in the meantime, take care. Bye-bye.